So Paris Hilton, Floyd Mayweather, I'm sure you've heard, they've been on ads. Uh, they're, they're like these celebrity endorsements for ICOs, initial coin offerings. Why do you think uh, these people are starting to back cryptocurrency? Uh, well, I think that uh, the idea of Hollywood backing technology is not a new concept. It's something that has been you know, going on for a long period of time. Generally, technologies represent very scalable uh, piece or businesses. Um, and uh, Hollywood does well in terms of marketing those. So given the proximity and everything, they've always had a close relationship with each other. I think that there is a little bit of a slippery slope when people start to get involved with um, you know, advertising projects that could be associated with a financial investment for some folks. Um, so my, my, uh, my feeling towards it is that these, um, these celebrities really should understand exactly what they're getting behind. Um, and they should be able to communicate the explicit benefits of those projects, opposed to just saying that they're worth getting involved with. And that's a very positive response, maybe coming from the U.S., but in China, they've actually recently banned ICOs. Uh, is that affecting uh, cryptocurrency globally and, and fundraising? Well, inherently, um, uh, all blockchain projects are global. So any country banning or supporting has an effect on all projects to a certain degree. Um, I think that uh, the effects it's had will be relatively temporary and hopefully the outcome of this approach will be informed regulation that will foster a more mainstream um, you know, adoption of these projects that also has um, or takes into account consumer protection. Speaking of people understanding what they're backing, so one of the big controversies is JP Morgan's Jamie Dimon coming out and bad-mouthing Bitcoin and calling it a fraud. Um, and now he's been accused of his company perhaps even meddling or investing in that. What, what are your thoughts about that? Well, I mean, uh, what would you say if your uh, business was entering its extinction phase, right? So there's not much of a choice for him and a stance that he needs to take. I think that more banks will take an anti-cryptocurrency stance as they realize the threat that it represents to their organizations. Um, that said, particularly Jamie Dimon has been saying these types of things when Bitcoin was at 200, 400, 800, and now 5,000. So you have to question how much of it is just, you know, uh, trying to uh, uh, effectuate his or, or, or make, make the reality of his past statements uh, come true.